Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of May. So this could happen at any time in May. This reading may or may not be for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. It can always go vice versa, okay? I'm not a reader that goes by any books, so keep that in mind. So, what do we got for Aquarius for May? What do we have for Aquarius in May? This is my second reading. I will tag the first one to the end. You know, it will be one of them little pop-ups at the end of the video. End screen. Anyhow, what do we have for Aquarius for May? Serendipity. It's funny because as I was shuffling, I was seeing the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is a sudden situation, okay? It can be a sudden attraction, a new spark, a sudden desire, a new vision, whatever. All of a sudden is the Ace of Wands. And serendipity is is very similar, right? This is very much all of a sudden. It's a fortunate accident. It's being at the right place at the right time. And, you know, it's not... Well, serendipity is a fortunate accident, right? This is also, I mean, a four-leaf clover is good luck. So something beautiful is happening. Something wonderful, beautiful. Uh, it may not, when it, whatever this comes about, it obviously um, comes about um, in a weird manner, put it that way. It's like you, it's like all of a sudden, I mean, if you, what happens when you get a four leaf clover, clover, if you were looking for a four leaf clover, a uh, four leaf clover is good luck. It's, it's, it's something good. It's like a wish. Okay. Something good is going to be happening in May for you. The Emperor. This is the Emperor. You notice that, and I didn't, I didn't read this book either. I don't read any books. The Emperor is about power and control. It's a very masculine energy. Taking control of a situation. This is taking control. Being in control. Making a decision. A firm decision. Um... There's a decision that is being made. Now you notice that's a soldier. That's a soldier. And it's, it's a soldier boy by the looks of things. But this is... Uh, a being in control. You notice that thing isn't rocking. This is being in control of a situation, being completely in control. So you are in complete control this month. You're the boss. You're in charge. <laughs> One more card for Aquarius, please. Oh, there it is. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. It did come out reverse, so we're going to have to take it that way. The Eight of Wands is about movement. Moving forward, it's, it's news coming. Typically, it's news, it's triumphant news coming, but it came out reversed. So there's, there could be, now this, when the Eight of Wands is reversed, there's something, it could be a blockage of some sort. There's a blockage. I'm not sure if there's some jealousy issues or somebody is being blocked or needs to be blocked. There's some level of stagnation with the Eight of Wands reversed. 
Now, somebody may be feeling guilty. Feeling guilty for wanting to move forward. It's like something has probably happened or it is going to happen. It's, it's obviously uh, something very good. But somebody is feeling guilty. Feeling guilty for this decision that they're making. It's like you have to make this decision based on the facts. It's not about feelings. It's about the truth. The emperor is somebody who uh, does the right thing even if it's not easy. Has to do the right thing for everybody involved even if it's not easy. Okay. Um, so I think we got a level of feeling guilty for, you know, having to make this decision, but obviously something has happened and it's very, very good and it can't be ignored. Something like that. So something really good has happened, which is giving you the opportunity to go someplace else. Some it's, it's been, it, it is, it was, it, it was an accident. It was an accident, but it's something that you have to do. That kind of thing. This is self-mastery as well. The emperor is about self-mastery. So it's about mastering your emotions and doing what you have to do. But there's a feeling of feeling guilty. Feeling guilty for doing what you have to do. So what do we have for Aquarius? The Empress. The Empress. So, you know, there's the Emperor and the Empress here. So this is a this is a perfect match. This is, it really is a dream come true. So this is a perfect match. And you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra or an Aries. Doesn't have to be. But uh, this is the birth of a new life. Something is blossoming. There's a, there's a rebirth here. It's very, very beautiful. There's an opportunity for growth. There's an opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity for abundance. All of a sudden, this is a blessing. You ha are receiving some sort of blessing. Now, this is tender, loving care. The Empress is a mother. The Emperor is a father. This is a, somebody who will take very, very, very good care of you. This is tender, loving care. Very devoted. So we have a feminine energy here that is very, very devoted. She's a natural. Being loved. Somebody is going to... This is love. It is. It's love. This is love. It is. Knight of Swords. That happens fast. It is. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Taurus. This is Taurus and that happens to be like a bull. But anyway, the Knight of Swords is uh, something. It's a shock. It's a shock. Something is happening that is uncontrollable. It's uncontrollable. And I feel like it's, 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 it's whatever is happening. It happens so fast, but it's so, it's so true. It's so real. Six of wands. The ba there's nothing, the, the, the six of wands, the fight is over. The battle is over. There's been some sort of situation that happened so fast. Things have grown. Feelings have grown. Something is happening. Somebody may be even getting pregnant. It doesn't have to be. This is the birth of a new life that has happened very, very... It's a shock. And, and you know, sometimes uh, things can get out of control or something can happen. And, you know, you never saw it coming. That's what we got here. You never saw it coming. But this is, this is uh, letting go of the fight and moving forward. Going after what you uh, want. No longer resisting it. No longer... Um, debating. It's over. It's over. So I think that a decision is definitely being made. It's time. It's time to move forward. No more stalling. There has been some stalling. 
so you're going to be moving forward judgment oh my god so there could be a past life connection here Aquarius maybe you have such a deep feeling with somebody that it's undeniable there could be a reconciliation with somebody that you've known before and I have to reiterate somebody you known before it could have been somebody in a past life or somebody that you knew years ago when you were young or whatever the case is But judgment is, is a wake-up call. It's an awakening. It's a resurrection. It is a new life. We have a new life here twice. It is a new life. Okay? This is a new life. It's being giving, given a chance for a new life. That is the birth of a new life. So that is exactly what it is, whether somebody is actually getting pregnant or they're giving birth or they are uh, reconciling with somebody that they have known before in a past life. That Knight of Swords is, is, very, it's, is very fast forward movement. Things happening fast, all of a sudden. And I saw the Ace of Wands and that seren this serendipity is a, an accident. It's very sudden. It's like you didn't see this coming. You weren't expecting this. But there's no desire to compete with anybody anymore. There's no desire to, to struggle with it. It's like you know what you want. The decision, you know what you want. You know that this is... A chance for abundance, a chance for love, a chance for to be taken care of. So judgment is, is a life-changing decision that is being made. So yes, it's a, it, there's a life-changing decision that is being made. King of Pentacles. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a Scorpio. Um, Taurus is very prominent here. Um, but this is somebody, whoever this person is, this person is solid. They are stable. They are a very hard worker, very loyal, dependable, responsible, and is holding on to their stability. This is somebody that has a lot to offer. This masculine energy has some has a lot to offer maybe may work outside you know spend a lot of time outside this person spend, spends a lot of time outside very very um focused on building his financial security definitely has a lot to offer and this, this feminine energy is very beautiful, very nurturing, very caring, very loving, very kind, very compassionate, very sensual. So there is a reconciliation or a coming together with these two people. It happened, it happened or it happens out of the blue, very suddenly. All of a sudden, it just charges into your life. Or that's what happened. Five of Cups. Now, there is feeling guilty. So, somebody is feeling guilty for giving up on something else. Don't feel guilty. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. If you know in your heart that something else is meant to be, you have to follow your heart. So we have somebody here that is feeling that is feeling guilty for giving up. I mean, you know, it's like crying over the loss, crying over the spilled milk. Keep thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about the choice, thinking about the changes that, and thinking about everybody that will be impacted. You have to do what's right for you at some point in your life. The magician reverse. Somebody's been living a lie. And this is definitely a tricky situation. I think that you have been in a situation where, you know, perhaps somebody, you were lying to yourself. Maybe, so, you know, or you, somebody else was lying. The magician reverse is a liar. Somebody that is doesn't take action. Okay. This is somebody that, um, or this person is very arrogant and, 
you know, well, the magician reverse could be a pathological liar. It's somebody that is very tricky, very sneaky, uh, deceptive. There is some sort of deception. Lying. I feel like it's like, this is like headed knowing this is a warrior that has fought against somebody that was very deceptive. Cops. The magician reverse. This is this is uh, feeling powerless. So, somebody is losing their power. Maybe this person was able to manipulate by using blackmail and making some emotional blackmail to make somebody feel guilty. You know, emotional blackmail. Or blackmail, period. I mean, the magician reverse is somebody that is very manipulative. So good at, so skilled at manipulation that, you know, you wouldn't even know it. You That's how skilled this person is. Could have been a previous partner. A pre, yes, that's what it was. A previous partner that has been in the mix. This person is highly skilled at manipulation and has tried to make a person feel guilty for wanting to leave, for wanting to live, for wanting to be happy. So yeah, there's a, there's a partnership here that was based on deception. It was based on a lie. It was, it was, it was a very tricky situation for sure. This person is a trickster, very skilled at it. Could be dealing with somebody that is a show off. I mean, the magician reverse is somebody that is boastful. This person shows off. They think their shit don't stink. This person is a master manipulator. Can get violent at times. May have a personality disorder. Uh, may fly off the handle, you know, when they don't get their way. And it makes you, it, 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 you know, this kind of person can turn the whole situation around. Cause a fight. This is like, but this is like seeing it for what it is. I mean, the battle is over. So I feel like making the decision, I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to let you uh, manipulate me. I'm not going to let you make me feel guilty, you know, but I, I see you looking back and feeling guilty. So yes, I feel like you, you're probably feeling guilty for wanting this happiness that has been brought into your life. So Aquarius, be prepared. If you haven't met this person yet, somebody, which a lot of you already have, there is somebody that has come into your life. I think that you you will feel familiar with this person immediately. Immediately. You will feel comfortable with this person. You will feel like this person is the one. Okay? I feel like this is somebody that you have known before. I do not feel like it is the person that you are currently with. Yeah. Just being honest with you. I feel like it is somebody that um, you have bumped into or something like that. You've bumped into along the way. Um, now you have to make a difficult decision based on your needs, based on what's best, based on the facts. I think it is definitely a difficult, hard decision. I think that you are very genuine and real, and I think that you're going to do the right thing. I feel like you are going to be given the chance to come together with somebody that is perfect for you, but you will have to turn your back on whoever it is that is making you feel guilty for doing so. And I see sadness. I do feel like you feel guilty. You feel very, very, very guilty that, you know, your heart wants something else. King of Cups. This is whoever. We have two people here uh, that are wanting this partnership. But there's like, there's a third person. I know that there's a third person. Whoever you're dealing with, 
is very, very loving. They have a lot of love to offer. And you should be following your heart. This could lead to something long term. It could lead to something beautiful. This is a past life connection. I feel like it is meant to be. Stop staying in the conflict, the uh, manipulative situation that you have been trying to avoid. Do not feel guilty for wanting to be taken care of, for wanting to be loved, for wanting to be with a soulmate. Don't feel guilty for that. So anyway, I feel like you are going to run into somebody out of the blue if you haven't already. This is um, bumping into somebody. That's serendipity. That's that fortunate accident. It happens all of a sudden and boom, something develops very, very fast. This is a major life change. This is a life-changing decision. Your life is about to change. It's very positive. You're going to be moving into a situation where you're not fighting. You're not competing. You're being loved. So Aquarius, I don't know what the hell this is, but it is beautiful. I feel like you've been dealing with a master manipulator who's been making you feel guilty. You need to face this master manipulator head on. Look them right in the face and tell them that you are going to follow your heart. Keep walking. Good luck.